What's up, YouTube? It's me, my little panda. How are you? Welcome to autumn. I thought I would dress for the occasion. <laughs> um, I have a question. Is my lighting too light, too dark, too dramatic? What kind of combo do you want? All right, today we are talking about paid pages versus free pages. What do you pick to open first as a new creator on OnlyFans? My opinion, and I think it's based on pretty good rationale, is always start with a paid page. I think that a paid page, if you're if you're talking about kind of like your well-being starting off and getting off the ground, a paid page, if it takes you less than a day, a week, 10 days to get your first fan, that's okay because you are guaranteeing that you're going to make money. You'll see that that first bit of money come into your account and it's going to give you the nicest like dose of dopamine and it's going to motivate you and give you hope and make you feel really good. And it's going to be the earliest financial payoff you'll get for all of the hard work you have to do in setting up your account, getting all your promo in place, doing all of the things that I know you're all going to do that I tell you to do as a new creator, getting all of that in place, all of that labor. I say stick up for yourself, put a paywall up. And you know, like when you, when you use a paid page, it affirms that the people that are looking at your social media, looking at your promo are taking a chance on you. So they like what they see and they decide that you are worth the price that you are requesting. And that should give you some comfort, especially as a new creator. Like these people are picking you, they're choosing you, they're spending their resources on you. And so honestly, that's a really good foundation for building good relationships with those fans. And a lot of times your early fans are the ones, you'll get a couple or a few that stick with you for the long haul and you really grow a bond with them and also they can really support you in your process. I think that a free page is just not the right idea. Um, if you look at my free page right now, and I made it like two months after I started my paid page. If you look at my free page right now, I have 550 fans on there. I have 79 on my paid page as of today. Like, what does that tell you? I've made $250 on the free page. People want freebies. I tell you this all the time. And I, I know I get so much attitude with it, but it's so true. The people who are going to sign up to your free page are those people that are just scrolling past you on a Reddit thread, on Instagram, wherever you are. They see you, they click your link, they see your OnlyFans, boom, they sub. They don't even think about it. They haven't spent any time deciding how they like you and looking at your stuff and looking at you. So like I do really recommend a paid page even just for that. I've, I've had fans that have told me they've come over from Reddit and you know, things are, things are much spicier over there than they are on the other platforms. And it's like this spooky thing. They can, they can sniff you out. They can find you. So if you're doing good, high quality promo, you know, whatever you are, even if you're buying into the subs, people are discerning and they'll be able to tell if they might like you. And, you know, it's cool to have people happy to pay for you. Again, you're doing a bunch of work. Free pages are full of freeloaders and I'm not knocking the people for them. Like I'm not knocking people who subscribe to free pages. I subscribe to a lot of girls free pages as a content creator to help myself. And it's very valuable to see their posts and things like that. Um, and I know that like my free page, I'm trying to use as just a library for people to scroll through 
and pick something out that they might want to buy to watch and enjoy. So that's my goal with that one. I'm also doing a little bit more promo on there than I expected. So, you know, occasional posts, probably four times a week, maybe five. Occasional posts on there to give it personality. So it looks a bit like a social media thread instead of just like the library with like the clumps, you know, of just video after video behind paywall. Uh, but that's what I do now. So it's actually a bit, a bit more friendly and I think people spend more time on it now. So there are ways to use a free page to your advantage. I just think, especially if you want to swip o swap over to a paid page after you have your free page from the beginning, it will, t it will tank you. It'll tank your motivation. Like, do you think you're going to be able to keep up morale when you see 177 of your 200 fans from your free page drop off once you switch to a paid page. It's a really big hurdle and it's a big adjustment for the people that have chosen to be your fans. And a lot of times, I've heard this in relation to switching platform to platform. So say like OnlyFans to Slushy or Fansly, vice versa, whatever it is. Most creators are actually don't expect nor does it happen that their fans follow them. They pick where they want to go. It's really hard to do that migration and to get them to go. It's kind of just a normal human thing. You know, we're lazy. We like what we like. We're where we're at. We stay there. So that's something to really keep in mind. People might get pissy at you. Like, you don't know. Like, who are you to, like, start charging me? You're giving me all that. Like, anyway, sorry. <laughs> Too much mocking. I would say think about it pretty seriously if you have questions and concerns. In my book, I think it's a massive mistake to make a free page. I think that time has passed. Free pages used to be the go-to for, um, for girls during the pandemic because it got people in, people wanted to buy. Like, I mean, people had all that surplus cash. It doesn't happen anymore. You have to protect yourself a little bit and your hard work a little bit by doing a free by <laughs> Freudian slip by doing a paid page. Um, yeah, it's just not the same environment. It's not the same world. When I started looking at OnlyFans a year ago, YouTube was starting to switch from suggesting free pages to suggesting paid pages. So it's my advice. I want you to take care of yourself and put yourself first. Um, and it's really fun to get each one of those first new paid subs, which is very validating and rewarding. Okay, there's my opinion. Bye. If you're thinking about becoming an OnlyFans creator yourself and you want to create your account and sign up as a creator, you can do it via my OnlyFans referral link that you'll find on my Beacons page. Um, if you do that, I will send you immediately a new creator document that I created specifically from my experiences and education through this process. And I'm here for you 24 seven to talk promo business. I have tutorials on some of the technical things that you'll encounter with OnlyFans. I'm here for you if you feel like you want to make that jump.